Quick Start Guide After installing and launching Undet for AutoCAD you will notice that there is new feature in your AutoCAD environment. Undet Toolbox tab will be located in end of AutoCAD ribbon list. The Undet palette will also appear in the screen. In case Undet palette will not appear you can always open it from Undet Toolbox ribbon in Visibility Management Tools tab. This will be main tab in the beginning of every new project. From here you will be able to create new or load existing project. First open Undet project. To do that simply click open icon in your Undet palette. Undet will tell you that point cloud will only be visible in 3D visual style and will ask you if you want to change 2D mode to 3D mode. Click yes. Then choose project from your files, find your project and click open. After project loads you will notice that Undet palette will be filled with information about project. Here you can see your project type, points count, coordinate system and so on. In Visibility Management Tools tab you will be able to choose color mode from 3D color mode or 2D black and white mode. We strongly recommend to use 3D color mode, because it automatically turn on hardware acceleration, will allow to see different coloring mode of point cloud data, and working with point cloud in 2D black and white mode will result in major performance drop. Let's create first view section. To do it go to Undet Palette, open View Section tab and go to Create Panel. Undet allows you to create new view section by defined line, object, or simply drawing rectangle and so on. Let's create view section defined by rectangle. You can rotate view section by pressing R in your keyboard and specifying rotation angle or pick points. In this case we are rotating our view section rectangle by picking points. Creating view section by defined rectangle will create view section throughout whole volume of point cloud, so if your project is big, we recommend to create smaller view sections to increase performance. After creating first view section you will notice that you have new view section in your Undet palette view section list. From here you should be able to change coloring of your view section choosing from coloring by intensity, by Z, by plane, source, red, green, blue or choosing your own color. If you are not able to choose coloring of your view section, it means that coloring by view section is not turned on. Undet allows you to color your point cloud by logic classes, data files, or view section. To change that choose coloring mode in the bottom of Undet palette. V stands for color by view section, D stands for color by data files and L stands for color by logic classes. Let's choose color by view section, and now you will be able to change coloring of your view section. Let's color our view section by intensity. You can inspect created view section in interactive 3D mode by using 3D orbit function from visibility management tools tab and selecting base point. Let's go back to plan view by using plan command. You can easily change size of active view section. To do it, select your current view section by clicking edit button from Undet palette edit tab, or use keyboard shortcut control plus shift plus Q. Now you will see grips which will allow you to change size of your view section. To switch grips click switch grip button from Undet palette edit tab, or use keyboard shortcut control plus shift plus 1. If you want to see more preview points you can always change density. It defines how many percent of preview points you are seeing in your view section. To change it expand Visibility Management Tools tab from Undet Toolbox ribbon menu and enter value in numbers. Let's set it to 5. We recommend use smaller percent as it increase AutoCAD performance. Let's say we want to inspect facade of building, for this we will create new view section. This time we will create view section defined by line. To do it let's choose create with line option from Undet palette create panel. If you want to change thickness of the line you can do it by pressing T in your keyboard and entering value, or by expanding create panel and entering value over there. At this point we choose option UCS and view, so we will create both view section and new UCS at the same time. Let's say we are interested in this segment of facade and we want that our newly created view section thickness would be 0.5 meter so that we can see all elements of it. Now we have second view section created. You will notice it in view section list in Undet palette. Here you can rename your view sections, change their coloring mode, activate or deactivate them and remove them. 
This time let's try coloring by plane. If view like this occurs it means that wrong plane is selected. To change coloring plane, press change plane button from view preference panel, and define new plane by selecting it and pressing enter. Now our facade is colored by plane. Let's adjust coloring by choosing different interval. Open coloring settings from view preference panel, choose fixed size and change it to 0.1, now we will see different color every time there will be 10 cm interval in our view section. Here you can also change color scheme, adjust it and preview effect of the changes made. We see that there is not that much of the difference. Let's adjust fixed size so that we will see color change every time there is 2 cm interval in our view section. Now we can see very detailed view of our facade, but we are not seeing all scanned point cloud points. To know if you are seeing all points or preview points, Undet have view mode indicator. It is located in the bottom of Undet palette. Indicator can be red, yellow or green. In our case it is red. If you change density to 100% it will allow you to see all preview points grid. If indicator is yellow, it means that density is set to 100% but points count in our view section still exceeds max visible point count. After changing density always use region command to see difference. We strongly recommend to use manual region command, because using automatic region function will decrease performance. If indicator is green, it means that we are seeing all possible points in our view section. In this case density value have no impact. There are two ways to turn indicator green. One is to force Undet to show all possible points. To do that simply press the view mode indicator. Undet will ask you if you want to continue because that might cause unexpected behavior. We recommend to save your progress before continuing. Be aware that AutoCAD can only work properly until 12 million max visible points, everything over that will cause performance drop. We recommend to work in region from 8 to 10 million max visible points. The other way to make indicator green is by adjusting active view section size and allowing Undet to make calculations and determine if point count in is smaller than max visible points count. We recommend to adjust size of view section and allow Undet to determine when to show preview points and when to show all points. After our clipping box is small enough Undet will automatically turn indicator to green and we will see all of the points. After adjusting your view section so that you can see all the points here can inspect all the details and start working on your modeling. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.